Hey guys, Jay back with another tutorial and my last videos have been more focused on the Polygona IO and today we're going to be showing how similar it is to connect to these other stock market APIs and we're going to be using Alpaca. Just like Polygon IO tutorials or for most of these we're going to start with the config file and we're going to call it config.py. Now inside of our config file what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put our Alpaca uh, API key and this will be a string as well as our alpaca secret or API secret key. And again, this will be a string. These will be the strings given to you by alpaca on your dashboard. So make sure you just go ahead and copy and paste them in. Another thing we're going to need is our base URL. Or we can just to keep everything consistent and the naming, we'll go ahead and say alpaca API base URL. And again, this will be a string, and the string for this is going to be the paper markets. And this will be in the description below for copy and paste. This is also going to be on the Alpaca documentation and API. So once you have your config file all set up, we're going to go ahead and make a new file, and we'll go ahead and call this account.py. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out how do we get our account data, the portfolio value, our trades, and whatever else. So the first thing we're going to end up doing is we're going to import Alpaca Trade API as Trade API. And we're also going to need from Alpaca Trade API, we're going to need to import REST. Another thing we'll need to do is we'll need to import our config file. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and connect to the API. Very similar to Polygon, we are going to say uh, API is going to equal trade API dot rest. And here we're going to pass in and you can see it's telling us we need our key. We need our secret key. So config dot alpaca secret key and the URL config dot alpaca api base url now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to actually create a class and we're going to call this class account now in class account we're going to start with our init file or our init function and when we create one of these classes we want the account to have all the information that's going to be an account to see what information is going to be in there, we can really quickly say ACC is equal to API.getAccount. And let's go ahead and print ACC, or account for short, and let's see what we get. So we get all the default values for a paper money trading account. And in order to use this, what we're going to do, or in order to get each of these values, we're going to go ahead and our init, we're going to go ahead and get what we want. So we're going to want our account number, and that will be some string. We're going to want the cash that we have, and you can go ahead and pick out as many as you would like. I'm going to just do a few here. Let's say we want the equity, and let's say we want, let's say we want our non-marginal buying power, which will be the same as our cash and equity. So let's do the marginal buying power. So we'll do buying power. And this will be another string. Now, how do we get the data into these variables that we just created? Well, we're going to say def uh, get account details, or we could just say account details here. And we're going to go ahead and say a is going to be equal to api.get account. So this is where all the details were. And from that, we can actually say, well, we can't quite access our class yet unless we make a version of our class. So here we go. We have an object that is account. Now we can say ACC dot. And do you notice how we get instantly the variables? Here, account number, cash, equity, or marginal buying power. Well, here now all we have to do is account number. And this will be equal to, we're going to say get the attribute. 
and we're going to pass in a so we got from our account we're in here and what do we want we want the account number and in here that's labeled like this so account number and similarly we can go ahead and copy and paste this four times and we can change account number here to cash we can change this one to equity and we can change this one to this Finally, we can copy and paste these to here, and that should be getting the account details. So if we run, um, let's print account here. We actually don't have to print it inside our function, but we need to call our function first. And print. Oh, we need to print the values that are in here. So let's go ahead and print account number and see if we actually got it. There we go. So if we actually print this beforehand and after, you'll see we get nothing because we just initialized an empty string. And then after we ran account details, it went through, it got the attribute of account number, and it put that into account number here. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on how to get connected to the Alpaca API. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And if you'd like, comment and leave any questions below.